Hey, BookTube. It's Angie from Angie Rose Nomad. How are we doing today? I hope we are doing fantastical. So, if you guys are tired of seeing the green top, let me just explain really quickly. I woke up this morning feeling kind of poorly. Um, my throat has been hurting all day. So I wanted to go ahead and film a few videos that I could have on deck in case I did get sick. I hope I'm not going to, but you know, just in case, just as a precaution, we can never ever be too safe, if that makes sense. So I really hope I don't get sick, but just in case I do, enjoy some videos and with the same green top, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. But this video is actually going to be some of the evil books that I've checked out from the library when I'm supposed to be reading my own TBR. Remember that video? What happened in that, Angie, huh? She checked herself out. And I think that's what I'm going to call this video is checked out because I checked out from my TBR, but I checked out books from the library. You guys get it? Clever, right? Yeah. Not really good at all, huh? So originally I was doing good. I went to the library and got two books and then the previous books that you've seen in my book haul, which were the five that I got from the used bookstore. But the two that I originally, yep, I said originally, that means I went back. The two that I got from the library originally are the one, this is by John Mars, and I'm currently in the middle of it and currently really, really enjoying it. This follows five different perspectives of these people who have all been affected by this new technology that has come about. It is called Match Your DNA. And what it does is you send your DNA sample off to this company and they find you your perfect person. It took me a minute to get into the different perspectives. I felt like what I wanted to know would only come for people later. And I found myself a, a skimming a little, but I've since stopped and you know everyone's story has since drawn me in really really interesting book so far can't wait to continue on with it the next book is a book that I've been wanting to read forever and it is called red clocks this is by Lenny Zumas and in this book abortion has been made illegal in vitro fertilization has also been banned and it follows the story of five women in this small Oregon fishing town and their stories as they navigate motherhood, identity, and freedom. And has been talked up so, so highly here on BookTube that I cannot wait to see what my opinion is. So then I went back to the library today because I wanted to make my books that influenced me as a young reader video and wanted to check some of those books out. And if you haven't seen that video, you should definitely go watch it, especially if you have younger readers in your life. But the first book, I was snooping to see if they had it. And if they did, I knew I was going to get it. I've recently been watching a lot of Chapters and Converse here on YouTube. She is such a great channel. She reads a ton of thrillers, and I love thrillers. And she really, really recommended this one, and it is called The Kind Worth Killing. This is by Peter Swanson. And... It just sounds fantastic. She described it as kind of strangers on a train. Yep. This follows the story of Ted and Lily who meet on a flight, I believe, from London to Boston. And Ted's wife has just betrayed him. And they get talking, they get to know each other, and he kind of half-jokingly says that he wishes his wife would die for what she has done. And Lily volunteers to help him kill his wife. Now, when they get back to Boston, things start going into motion and their plan is, you know, slowly being formulated, but Lily's not completely being honest with Ted because she has a history of murder in her background. And, <laughs> and <laughs> Ted is not being honest with Lily either because he is falling in love with her. So as the story continues, they enter into this game of cat and mouse where more than one person may end up dead by the end. So all three of those books I can renew up to three different times so I can have them for a good little while. I think each renewal is 21 days. However, they also have a table at the front and a little shelf 
that has 14 day releases and you cannot renew them. So the last book I have here is one of those 14 day releases that I'm going to have to get to soon. I don't see that being a problem at all. And it is called Another Woman's Husband. This is by Jill Paul. I think that's how you say it. And this was just sitting there staring right out at me and I, I'd heard of it before because someone was talking about it one time and they mentioned two people, Wallace Simpson and Princess Diana. Yep, I knew I wanted to read it then and there. So on the back it says 1997. After a romantic proposal in Paris, Rachel and her fiance Alex are in a cab when suddenly the car ahead crashes. They're stunned to learn Princess Diana is in the car. By the wreckage, Alex finds an engraved heart pendant and gives it to Rachel to hold. Rachel is intrigued when she discovers that Di had visited the last home of Wallace, the Duchess of Windsor, only hours before the accident. Eventually, the re revelation of a long-forgotten link to Wallace Simpson leads Rachel to the truth behind a scandal that shook the world. Mrs. Simpson to wed Prince of Wales. 1911. When 15-year-old Mary Kirk meets Wallace Warfield at summer camp, she's captivated by her fearless, brazen, and self-assured personality. And Wallace has a way with the boys, who are drawn to her like moths to a flame. Though Mary's family isn't crazy about her new best friend, she steadfastly stands by her side, even years later when they're adults and rumors swirl about Wallace and her reckless behavior with none other than the Prince of Wales. But when Mary's loyalty to Wallace comes into question, their friendship will be put to the ultimate test. Sounds fantastic. I love the history between both of these women. So I hope there's a lot of it in here as well as following, you know, Rachel and Mary, of course. But I really want to hear more about Wallace and Princess Diana. So those are the four books that I have checked out from the library currently, along with the, the children's books that you've seen in a previous video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read this one soon. I have to get it back. I have already started it. And so far it's good. I'm liking it. Um, and then I'm going to finish the one very soon because that one has my attention. But the other two, I'm going to keep them as long as I need them and not feel rushed into reading them. So as much as it pains me to say this, you guys, I think we are done with the library for the month of January. I really need to focus on some of the books on my TBR, my actual TBR. Or what was the point of making that video? So let me know what you've checked out from the library recently. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to become part of the tribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.